Gay marriage is fast on its way to becoming legalized in the entire country. But I'm here to say it. Gay marriage presents a very real threat to the fabric of our society. That's right, summer weddings. We're about to get hit with an entire new population of couples who want to ruin your 4th of July weekend. That's why I'm here to help. Don't repeat the mistakes of hundreds of years of your hetero counterparts. So time to listen up, straight people. How many holidays have I wanted to go to the shore, but instead I have to fly to Kalamazoo and put on a suit and tie to celebrate your love? This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Once you get that six months, you don't think that's gonna change? Or, in 100 degree weather, I have to drive to some rustic church in the middle of nowhere. You know what rustic and quaint churches are? It means they're hard to find and they have no central air conditioning. And no more wedding announcements. Look, if you get to put a picture in the paper of you and your happy coupleness, then I get to put a picture in the paper of me alone in my kitchen eating ramen noodles over my sink. And what's with these save the dates? These things have glitter, doilies, sparkles. You know where these save the dates go? They go right in my save the trash can. You know what you should do? You should save the money and put it towards an open bar instead of a cash bar. I take it to the candy shop. And the plus ones. Why do my married friends get plus one invites even if they just met their wife two months ago at a strip club? But we single people, we have to go through a screening process. It's hard enough for me to find a date without the bride and groom asking me for my date's credit report and a background check. That's right, when it comes to summer weddings, I'm against all marriage, straight or gay. Hey, what are you doing uh, Labor Day weekend? I can't win.